People quite often say, well, Peter, what do you do? And I never really know how to answer that question. But I'll, I'll tell you um, really the best description of what I do. I think I'm a signal caller, okay, or a signal reader, a signal reader. Now, in terms of signals, um, think about, has anybody been a, a baseball coach, uh, coached a, a kid's baseball team? You know that third base coach, and you know the signals? Aren't those wonderful? I'd like to practice those in the mirror. You know, you do this and that and so on. Uh, anyway, you've got to read those signals. And uh, that's one of the challenges in economics because you get a lot of signals, but you get a lot of noise as well. There's signals and there's noise. And you see that in business too. You get a lot of, a lot of things that you hear, but you know, which, which ones, which pieces of information are really reliable and useful and what's just noise? So you got to separate the signals from the noise in order to figure out what's going on. So, <clears throat> so basically, I'm kind of a signal reader. And uh, the other thing with signals is how do you react to signals? Uh, well, let's take a traffic light. Where I live, where I live, you know, it, cultures are different. Highway practices and highway behavior, it all depends where you are. I don't know if you've noticed that or not, but where I live, you're coming up to an intersection that's got traffic lights. Where I live, if the light goes from uh, green to, to orange, people speed up. You know, they speed up, and the signal is that you put the pedal to the metal to get through that traffic light. You know, where I used to live, you saw the orange and you'd slow down. No, no, not. So, anyway, the signal that I have this morning is don't be the kind of person right now who puts the pedal to the metal because the signal that I see is kind of an amber warning light which says some caution required. All right, so I'm going to change my, uh, my story a little bit from what I've always told you uh, was, uh, you know, the sky's not falling. What I'm saying now is that there are issues and uncertainties out there. And uh, I guess in terms of my main bottom line, you know, what did he really say this morning? Um, I remember when I was going to college, I had a couple of friends that used to like to shoot pool. And uh, they were so much better than me because they did that all through their high school years. Whenever they went to high school and came home from, from high school, they went into the pool hall and would shoot pool. And uh, I remember one of them saying to me, Peter, it's, it's not what you make, it's what you keep as applied to playing pool. So in other words, in terms of business, what you make is really important, but what you keep is also going to be very important because the year that we're going into, I think, is going to have limitations in terms of volume. I think the volume of business, yes, it might increase, uh, but in some cases it's going to be a challenge. Uh, but make sure, make sure the bottom line works because I think you'll be looking at increased cost pressure coming from the United States because this U.S. housing recovery is really gaining momentum and I think it's going to be stronger than people expect and there's a real issue in the LBM industry, lumber and building materials, to be able to supply the demand from the United States. So I think we in supply issues uh, and uh, accelerating uh, price increases for lumber and building materials. So that's kind of my bottom line. Uh, also, in terms of the world that we live in, um, you know, we live in a world where it's difficult to, to pass on cost pressures. This diagram shows you what's going on with inflation. And what I've done is I've stripped out the noise here. I have gone down to the core. I've stripped out the noise. We have a lot of components of the consumer price index that bounce all over the place. Uh, and uh, it's difficult to get the main message, to really get the signal and separate it from the noise. But take a look at the way these bars are going down. The latest we have is that we only have a 1% increase from a year ago in the core consumer price index. There's not very much pricing power out there. Very difficult to pass along costs. Uh, there's a lot of excess capacity in the Canadian economy. 
Uh, and um, so it's, it's in a, a weak, kind of low inflation pricing world where you find yourself. Now, there's good news in that because the Bank of Canada, um, which sets interest rates, uh, they're not going to be increasing rates for quite a long time because uh, inflation is one of their big target uh, drivers. And uh, the bank is going to keep interest rates unchanged, I think, for for all of this year and well into next year too. It might not be until 2015 that the bank begins to raise rates. So anyway, there's a bit of good news in here as well.